everybody, here's Zoe and Jamie and today we're going to talk about a topic that is uh, sufficiently uh, difficult to get your head around that it has taken me three videos to work out how to say it, but I think that I finally worked that out. What I want to talk about today is not like the uh, practical stuff of like the mechanical stuff of how you make the this go with the that and etc, but um, what is the web? Uh, what is the World Wide Web? Because that's really uh, what we're making stuff for. So if we're making all these lovely websites for the World Wide Web, well, what on earth does that actually mean? And you've probably heard people say before uh, that the internet's been around like since the 1950s, yeah? And you've also heard people, particularly me, um, say that the World Wide Web only got started in 1990. So is there a difference? <laughs> between the internet and the World Wide Web? Yes, actually there is. Um, the internet is the big collection of networks and the World Wide Web is a subset of the internet. So if you want to be kind of boring about it, you could say that the internet is a network of networks and the World Wide Web is a network of documents. Websites, in this context, mean documents. So, what is the World Wide Web? Well, the World Wide Web is fundamentally any bit of the internet that you can get to using a web browser. Hence, web browser. You, you kind of see what they did there, right? Web browser. So, it's uh, made of a bunch of um, interconnecting bits. First one is browsers. That's uh, Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Chrome. That's our one. Second is web servers, which are fundamentally boxes, right? They, 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 these are actual boxes that have websites living on them and a cable coming out that hooks up with the, uh, with the internet. So the websites actually do have physical locations. They live on these big boxes called web servers. It's just that you and I don't see them very often in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, so we've got the web servers, we've got the web browser, we've got the web servers, and they talk to each other via a protocol, which you will have seen a hundred thousand times, I guarantee it, which is HTTP, which is the hypertext that's links, by the way. Hypertext just means links from one web page to another web page. Hypertext transfer protocol. There we go. All right. So we've got browsers, bits of computer software that know how to read websites. We've got web servers. Those are boxes for websites to live on. We've got HTTP, that is at the beginning of every um, address that you ever type into the top of your web browser, which is a way of saying where um, the websites actually live out there on the big bag internet. And we're missing one last thing, which is probably not going to come as a massive surprise, and that is the HTML, which is oh, 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 hypertext markup language. Now, when it says markup, it's telling you something so specific. It's telling you it's not a programming language. It's a markup language. And markup is always going to be just a set of instructions for another computer program. In this case, we know what type of computer program the web browser. And that's the thing which links everything else together and that's why we bother learning it. So the browsers are there to interpret the HTML. The web servers contain the websites which are written in HTML. The HTTP addresses send us to places where HTML lives. But underneath it all, the thing which makes it work is that they all speak the same language. And that language is HTML. Look, see, there's, there's actually the word language right there. So all those four things go together because they all speak the same language, HTML. And that's why we bother. 